want to make a point here about uh, 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 trust and where it is. Uh, there was an incident uh, within two weeks that just caught my attention, caught the country's attention. And it's very important here. A uh, critical care physician in Birmingham, Alabama, went on her own uh, Facebook page and she described caring for two patients who looked like they were about to die, who were begging for the vaccine, and they were saying to her, I made a mistake. I should have taken it. And so across the country, media picked this up. And what I observed was it was conservative media, liberal. Uh, they were saying, I don't want to die. Uh, and so one of the things that's really important about the information here is people who are not taking the vaccine have to be convinced they and a family member could die or have a serious illness. Uh, herd immunity, there are a lot of terms we use in public health for average people who have resistance doesn't work. Uh, so uh, my view is that the move for healthcare institutions locally uh, to do this, if it was combined with them talking about, we have serious people here who are near death, who really are sorry they didn't take that vaccine, that can move the needle over time. But notice, I'm not talking about public health experts, and I'm not talking about uh, primary care doctors who are not dealing with people in ICUs, but the people dealing with them where they're actually talking to them and their families, I don't wanna die, I shouldn't be here, I didn't realize that if I didn't take this vaccine, I could die. But a large number of the people not vaccinated uh, are uh, not worried about this disease. It's like saying, I don't worry about polio for my kids. So they have to worry. And so I'm less interested in carrots and sticks than I am convincing them they and their families could die or suffer unless they get this vaccine. And that is the critical message. Mm -hmm.